all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and in this video we're going to be talking about grape chair so it's going to be a quick video because we're not going to be writing any code but it's going to be a lot of people been asking me on the email on the chat when they were asking me about the project or something so they always been asking can we integrate ai into the grape chairs so my answer is yes we can integrate it's totally flexible like however you want to modify the grape chairs is possible you can modify the whole library you can rewrite the library anything whatever you want to do inside this you can do it and also a lot of things you can modify customize over here so it's not like like something tightly coupled and you can't do it it's not like that you can totally modify it you can just use the function and whatever the user interface whatever the kind of functionality you want to add you can add everything over here so it's kind of that library okay so i've been working a lot in the grip chairs and i've been doing a lot of changes past like few years and building project for many people so i know fully functional how the grip chairs works so some of the component i would not be aware about because i didn't go into those kind of area but mostly i know so that's why i'm just sharing with you so i was just playing with it today and i just wanted to share with you guys like uh, i try to integrate open ai into the script js so i just created a small interface and just write a prompt and change the content so i was trying with it and actually it worked so it's working and i tried it and and you can do it too so i'm still working on it so i'm just going to be writing one component so it's like multiple different kind of like models you can try with like uh, let's suppose open ai gemini or uh, anthropic like the cloud ai or perplexity so any kind of these like uh, model grok grok ai so any these model you going to use so you can just select it and put the api key of those models and then you can use that so those model going to be sending you details like sending your response back okay so i have to write in component i haven't wrote it yet i just wrote it like little bit code for just checking with open ai it's like how it works and it's kind of easy you can do it but yeah so let's let's go to the screen and i'll show you uh, how it looks like and how i made it but i'm still working on it so i'm going to be pushing more more changes on it and you guys going to be seeing my demo builder which is on my website right now fitflow.com so let's go to the screen all right guys as you can see my screen this is like this is my website over here so this is the website this is running on local host because i'm doing changes right now but you see this is my website okay and here's my like demo so html landing page builder and workflow automation builder so we're going to be trying this one so we just open it so it's going to be open in the new tab and this is the builder looks like right now in the demo page okay so this is demo for like anyone wants to see that like the ui or something kind of talk about it so you can just email me and all those things okay so just for informational purpose and if you see over here all those menu bars over here i did one more change i just change the little bit ui of this editor i'm going to be doing little more changes over here let's suppose you select an element so you're going to be finding the element html over here into this code you can modify it as well but not going to be changing anything because i haven't made this save button work so it's kind of that it's a little blocked over here because it's a kind of free tool so not all the things going to be working okay so yeah this is the change so now you see one more update over here so this icon okay this icon i have added into the toolbar so it's kind of like when you click on it it's going to open one model like this and then it, you can you can write anything over here and then so open ai is running in the background so if you can ask anything it will go to the open ai and open ai will also take the content of this one like whatever the html contents inside of it and it will take it and then it will write an instruction like whatever you write in the prompt it will try to modify the same way and then it will give you the response also you're going to see the response over here and the same response automatically going to be applied in the back side as well like into this one so i have to do some change like that like i have to make some little bit ai kind of stuff like like uh, visual interface should be like ai like why like the way it works on the google side perplexity or yeah like grok so where like when you try to search something so something like that i have to work on ui side but it's the backend is kind of little working okay so let's suppose i write like change the content in little professional text html markdown format okay i set it to chat gpt and let's see what chat gpt sent it back okay so it's loading 
and you see this is the HTML I got from ChatGPT. okay now I remove it so you see all those HTML applied but it sent me something else like it's not the correct way it just sent me the lorem ipsum so I'm just gonna be writing it back again like please um, change the content in professional description in English HTML markdown format okay so let's see what it writes now and here you see so you got HTML our team is dedicated to delivering so it's gonna be it sent us in the HTML English format okay and the HTML format so what I'm gonna be doing I'm just marking down over here so when you send the markdown so it's gonna send you this like tag so you get to know like in the response there's a HTML coming so you just have to filter this out so you have to remove this string if I go back I'm gonna see this text over here so right now you can just modify this tag change the tags and save this tag so same let's suppose I select over here like all the code so if I select over here I go over here so you're gonna find that text over here as well our time is dedicated so it's updated it's updated into the canvas okay so you can save this over here and then send it to the backend so it's gonna be updated okay so that's how like everywhere like you can just pass the whole HTML and let's try what it says okay please read this whole HTML content and modify little professional format in HTML markdown markdown with Tailwind CSS because I'm using Tailwind CSS in the like as a UI library so there's no like custom CSS written so that's why I'm just writing Tailwind CSS so it includes Tailwind classes into the HTML string okay so let's see what it says and it modifies or not it's taking too much time all right as you can see it's generate the HTML string over here you see the HTML markdown format and this is the text I written over here so this is the response you see the answer and now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna close this and let's see the UI what it reflects so in the UI it looks oh, it looks much better than earlier see it's just modified it and it looks much better if I want to change like not much better but it's still like it changed something and after that if I want to write like I want to write like change everything in the English format and write something which is useful okay so change the content in English format and write something which is business perspective for service space company in HTML markdown format okay I'm including HTML markdown format all the time just because I need it in HTML but if you don't write it as well so I'm gonna show you in the code so you just have to pass the instruction like always whenever you want an answer it should be in the HTML markdown format okay so I'm just writing it for the safer side but it doesn't matter you have to just pass the instruction I'm gonna show you in the code soon so Let's see how long it takes to respond. So, and yeah, it takes time. Like the as big as token you pass in the API, open API, it has to collect, like check all the tokens into the embedding model and then get the response out of it according to that. So you see, it generate the content for me. So you see HTML markdown format, write this. And I'm gonna be changing it to the streaming kind of text sooner. So you're gonna be seeing the streaming text is coming over here or better, I will just close this model once the response comes and you're gonna be seeing the streaming response over here. So you see, it's changed to the business perspective. Everything is according to the service-based company. Our research service-driven approach ensures seamless integration, rapid de deployment, empowering and your business to stay competitive and agile in the fast-paced market. And they simplify your release process and automotive workflow that reduce the downtime, accelerate time to market, okay? So it's kind of that, like, it's working. There's no any problem with it. And it took me just two hours to integrate the API. And if I would be about to write, like, all the different, different kind of models, like Gemini, Perplexity, and every other, and including OpenAI, and I just created more like component type like the way component type it shows over here like when I select all this so it shows text over here when I select any kind of like component over here so it shows the label like which kind of component it is div kind of text kind of or link type or whatever it is so same kind of component type I have to write which is gonna be included in each and every component and that's gonna be included over there and after that like whenever you click on any component you automatically you're gonna show you a pop over pop over if you understand like automatically a small pop-up comes 
and that gonna be asking you you want to modify this code or you want to modify something else so, so that's kind of interface we have to build so I'm working on it I'm gonna building it but like for the current process if someone wants to like as a business logic if you want to implement into the grape chair so, so that's the easy process you can do it just you can click on the model write the prompt and then send it to the open AI and then response will come and just modify into the HTML that's it and it's done that's it from this video guys so I just wanted to share with you it took me like just uh, I'm just playing with it and I made it so I'm still working so I'm gonna be pushing more changes on my github so you're not gonna be able to find this code because it's not for the like uh, it's it's a kind of private repository but you're gonna be finding the update on this my like fitpro.com over here and also I'm deploying this one so the API key also API key gonna be like uh, public so if it start throttling like it start like throwing errors so it means like its limit is reached so every day there is a certain limit so if it reaches, so it's gonna be start throwing error so that's why but this is my demo builder on my fritpro.com okay so it works like this you're gonna be find this uh, whole changes all the changes over here and you can explore if you want to okay so all right guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye